before every show, we sit in kind of our locker room, so to speak, figuratively speaking, and we try to come up with the best topic to serve you, the viewer. In that discussion, we realized while Dame wants to go, to Miami. He's quite literally said that is the one primary destination he wants to go that might not necessarily be the best fit. Right. Everybody in their mama is talking to you about, well, Dame's going to get to Miami one way or another. But more importantly, Rick Buecher, you are the NBA insider who knows so much about this situation. Is Miami actually the best place for Dame Lillard? Not if he wants to win a championship. If he's moving because he wants to add that ring to his resume, then it has to be a place that can match up and beat the Denver Nuggets. And do the Miami Heat have the size, or do they have that piece that is going to make life difficult for Nikola Jokic? I don't see it. So on the other hand, if I look at the Milwaukee Bucks having re-signed Brooke Lopez, and I look at the Philadelphia 76ers having Joel Embiid, mm. and I mm. see some of the other pieces there, then I can make a case that there are better places for him to go if he wants to win a ring. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks have the culture, they have the proven ability to win a championship, and they have the size. <clears throat> With the Philadelphia 76ers, they have the size and they have a, champ, a coach who's won a championship. I'm not disparaging the Miami Heat by any, by any stretch, but if I look at, it's winning a ring that is the number one uh, motivation then I think there are other places that could be better. So then he should only go to a place that has won a ring recently. Or has a coach that knows how to win a ring. Because that's like for Spolstra. Philadelphia. But look, Spolster has all she of has that. He has more than one. And just coached in the finals. Nurse got one. I knew this nurse was coming, by one. the way. Nurse has I one. knew this was coming. Nurse has one. I tried to. Two is more than one. But nurse has nurse one. Has, yes. Nurse has yeah. one. I like yes. nurse a lot. Uh -huh. yeah. They haven't been past the second round of the playoffs with Embiid ever. You're correct. Right. Milwaukee had culture, but they have a new coach now. So yeah. we don't know if they have culture because they fired the, their coach, and that would Giannis imply that the culture. culture but... I agree. I'm just sitting this one out, Slick. I mean, you're a... fighting your own battle. Oh, thank you. Fact, your thank own you. Facts <laughs> don't care about the emotions of this conversation, and the fact is that they just fired their coach, which generally in, indicates that there are some cultural issues or at least a disagreement on that, and we don't know if this new coach is capable of winning a championship, correct? I'm not going to go so far as to say that's Has why. Has he won a championship? Who? This new coach. In no, Adrian okay. Griffin. No. You, are li you lined up the reasons why there would be other better places. I'm just trying to figure out what those other places have that Miami doesn't. As far as stopping Jokic, who, by the way, is on the Western Conference yes. side of mm -hmm. things. Yes. I I'm still trying to figure out what team has the Jokic stopper. Where's the Jokic stopper? I don't know that it's a Jokic stopper as much as a Jokic Make life a little more difficult. And Bede? And Bede's got to get to the Eastern Conference Finals before he can worry about Jokic. When we get, that's when we get Dane. Oh, okay. <laughs> when we get Dane, <laughs> we get he, Dane he, and we ship Jordan out. We're going to be ready. Need, he didn't ready. need MB. He didn't need a Jokic stopper in order to get to the finals. Okay. All, all these, like, all these teams, they have really great things going on. They all have question marks. Yeah. The only team that doesn't have a question mark as of right now is the Miami Heat because they what? Won the Eastern Conference and went to the finals. Mm -hmm. Okay. With I'm not, just, I'm not just saying, with all I'm saying is factual team. things. All I'm saying is factual things. Now, there are some positions that have been, they've moved off of, some yes. players they've moved off of, mm -hmm. and the purpose of that was to bring in a more talented player, which all I could hear from the start of the playoffs all the way through the last game of the finals is that the Heat didn't have enough talent, that they needed a more talented second player, yeah. which is what Damian would do. They have the culture that hasn't been disrupted by a new coach or firing as of yeah. recent. Philly and Milwaukee, you have both of those. We don't know what Boston is. Boston has lost significant pieces in this offseason. So the only team that hasn't lost significant pieces, because don't call them significant now, all, all postseason I was out here fighting for my life. <laughs> All postseason about how you, these no, players are not talented Joy, enough to Joy, win. I can't let you do this because you are this, misrepresenting though. how we talked about the Miami Heat. All right, Shady, don't have to back me up because I, I was. Shane Line. I was. Shane Line. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We compared, all say. Compared to the Denver <laughs> Nuggets. The no, don't do that, Slick. Don't do that. Do I, you know I was on that Miami 
he <laughs> dad wagon. Don't do that. Up until we got Don't do that to me. She's not wrong. Don't do it. Because even in all the series, from, from Milwaukee all the way to... The only one the, y'all give you was the Knicks. Uh, y'all were cool no, in the, the Knicks. The Celtics. Mm -hmm. Y'all kept saying how, well, they still got a chance because their, their players are so much better. We all said Correct. that. She was the only one that was saying that, well, they got culture. But she's, now you, now you kind of changing that a little bit now. Now you saying right. that the players that was just the role players, ah, we, we need Dame now. We need the talent now. Well, we talking about winning a championship. Dame wants to win a championship. The Heat were the only uh -huh, team in the uh -huh. Eastern Conference last year in a position to win a championship because every year there's only one. That's the team that wins the Eastern Conference mm -hmm. and then goes to the finals. All I'm saying is just like, that's the structure of the sport. That's what happened, right? Right? So we got to the finals and they didn't have enough talent. Now you're telling me adding Dame and getting rid of those players that you said time and time again weren't talented enough she is not right the right now. situation. She's cooking you. <laughs> me? <laughs> Hold on a second. Cooking. You caught a couple of strays here too, my friend. No, the no I don't. The I stand on my own. Huh? No. So I'm slick on the grill? He getting cooked. Fourth of July. Fourth of July on you. Was I, was I not? No, <laughs> stop. Was, yeah, was yeah. Was I right. not? On the Miami Heat so Yeah, but you jumped though, Slick. I did jump. I did no. jump. Because we got to a point where... Where, the they, where you said they weren't talented the enough. The talent difference... Well, it's, that's true. I can't Sadie, change that. Who do you think is the best fit for Dame Lillard? I think the Miami will be a good place. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at you, you <laughs> pander of you. Great place, oh, my goodness. But the greatest place for him is in Philadelphia. Come on. Listen. Why? First of all, you will be playing with... The MVP, Joel Embiid, right? I think you get rid of Harden and you bring in Dame Lillard, who's always involved. He, he, he's, he's, he's crafty. Yep. He's always working on his craft. He's a great team player. He wants to win. When a player wants to win, they do things that the ordinary players won't do. I think we, Dame has showed that. Playing with Portland and them guys, you, you get Dame here, you get Tobias Harris. Now we utilize him more. I think that he gets so much criticism because he's not the player that they, we want to see for the value of money he's getting paid. But when you have a guy that you put him in an offense, right, mm. and you swing the ball around and let him do his thing, then I think that we will see the Tobias Harris we paid all that money for. Yeah. Right? I just think that we have a, a good culture. We have a good coach. You talked about Nurse, yep. right? Nick no, Nurse I like, is, a, I like Nick. is a hell of a coach. Yep. And he won a championship. He knows what oh, it's like to win. No, it's a good culture. You were questioning whether it was a say, good say, culture. We bring, a, coach. we bring in a, a championship coach yeah. in Philadelphia. Oh, I, gotcha. You know what's gotcha. fascinating, Slick? Like, I don't necessarily agree with the reason you got there, but I will say... To me, Milwaukee is the best fit. And that the reason me. <laughs> wait, wait, I apologize. You said Milwaukee's the best fit? Milwaukee's the best fit. But the reason is, if Dame truly wants to win, I would go to a team that I know can win without me. Like, that's where I would want to go. Oh. I would want to go to a team that I know can win without me so that I can be the icing on the cake. I will debate this likely as long as I am ever in sports television. But the greatest thing about Kevin Durant going to the Warriors is Kevin Durant knew that this Warrior squad had won a chip in 2015 mm -hmm. and was up 3-1 to one in 2016. Mm. So though I will make them maybe the greatest team that's ever touched a basketball court, they are capable of winning without me. Because they did it in 2015 and they were one game away from doing it in 2016. When I think about Dame going to Miami. Miami's great at getting close. They went in 2020. They went again this past season. They haven't, they haven't won since LeBron James was there. Obviously, a lot of teams, wherever LeBron goes, you will win a championship. The only reason I would say Milwaukee over Miami isn't even necessarily because of the known variables, but the most known variable that is of importance to me is, can they win without me? Because if I go there and I know they can win without me, then all I got to do is go be along for the ride. I can drive if I need to, but worst case scenario, I'm just icing on an already... Uh, pre-made cake, is, and I can just be a variable. Can they win without him? Because, because that's the same team that won that championship. It's not the same coach. Not is the same Chris coach. Chris Middleton the same? P.J. Tucker's not there. No, but I think the new. What would they have to give up in order to get Dame? That, that's and, a great and, question. And, and Drew Holiday, is he, is he going to play the two? Is he going to play the... What's he going to play? I think Dame is more predicated of playing the two, assuming that Drew is still there and I, not being I, given I, up I, in that th This is why I'll push more to the, to, to the Sixers, because I looked at... You bringing them all the old series, right? Yep. So we go to last week when we lost to the Celtics. Yes, sir. Well, game seven, right? Yep. Where Embiid struggled to score and Harden just disappeared. He, mm -hmm. Yeah, he didn't. He just didn't want to play. Dame is one of the most efficient players we've seen on offense. Absolutely. Offenses. He has no issues of scoring. You put him and and Joel Embiid in a pick and roll. Who's gonna stop that? Here's my only question oh my with the Sixers. And obviously, I, I, I love the Sixers because I played in Philly. But my question is to some degree what Joy brought up. Philly does not know how to win. 
whether it is Embiid, whether it is uh, the, the, the coaches, coaches plural, along with general managers plural, that have preceded who is currently in Philadelphia, they don't know how to win. So you are adding Dame Lillard, who too has not yet won, to an organization that doesn't know how to win, and you are expecting to somehow hope that these two who don't know how to win can now figure well, out which how to win. Which You mean championship? A championship. Okay, so, man, you, you put pieces together. We've seen it happen all the time, right? With, with the Heat. I mean, LeBron kept going there, couldn't win. Bosch wasn't winning. But remember, D Wade had already won. Yeah, but he was. You know what I'm saying? You, you're right about that. But he was the number two. Yeah. Right? He was, okay, so if you if you bring in some of the, the, the top guys, I think you literally bring him to Philadelphia. I mean, B will be the top guys, the MVP, but it will be close. Dame is just as close as him. So my thing is, you put them together, they could win together. We've seen it happen over and over again. I, I don't think, think why this would be any different. Are closer to being a, a realistic place for him than Milwaukee, because I don't think that Milwaukee team is the same team that won. They don't have the same coach. And what would you have to give up? Like, we, we kind of have an idea of what Miami would have to give up in order right. to get Dame. And it would make sense because of what Dame brings in. Mm -hmm. And you're keeping the core of Jimmy Butler and Bam in this scenario. Yeah. Good move. I don't know what Drew Holiday, P.J. Tucker, and a healthy Chris Middleton played a massive role outside of Giannis. We all know Giannis is incredible, obviously, but played a massive role in that championship run. Mm. That, will they be there? Will they be healthy? I have questions about the Sixers because they haven't gotten over it, but I like the Nick Nurse hiring. Again, that all has to get adjusted through. I just think when you look at the places that have been, and I'm not even going to mention Brooklyn because, like, what, what's the point? Well, like, yeah, yeah this, Brooklyn is not a, a, a realistic right, place right. if the purpose is to go somewhere to try and win a championship. So to me, the rankings would go the Heat and then a, a significant drop-off, but then I would do the Sixers and then Milwaukee. Boston so, doesn't make I mean, sense Milwaukee, to me either. Boston has had too much turnover I mean, this offseason to, to bring Damon. And I hate to argue for Milwaukee, but, I mean, when you got Giannis, like you don't need all them other pieces. I think you keep Drew Holiday. I mean, you make a move, Chris Middleton. This, yeah. That, I, I mean, think Middleton would end up moving. It's more it. difficult. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey yeah. Giannis, like you still got a shot. I mean, the heart of it for me is is that Chris Middleton is not uh, reliable as their go-to guy. I agree. And Damian I agree. Lillard would be. And and Drew Holiday is a good enough defender that he can defend either position at uh, on, at guard. Yeah. yeah. So he can he can defend twos. And not to open this can of worms again. But this is my issue when we open talk about close who's it, he going. I got to go to break. Open the can yeah. and then you close the yeah. can. Max Struess is gone. Two. Gabe Vincent is gone. Kyle Lowry and Duncan Robinson and Kyle Lowry presumably would be gone in a trade for, for Damian Lillard. So you're saying oh, yeah. we're going to get uh -huh. Damian Lillard and he has to replace five, possibly six players in what he contributes. It's mm -hmm. not just adding Damian Lillard to the Miami Heat team that went to the finals last year. And individually, yes, they weren't all that talented. But collectively, they were special. If you combine it, all what they averaged, what would, what would it be? Uh, I don't know. I'll get back to you. We yeah. got to go to break. Let's do the math. <laughs> Let's do the math. <laughs> Wait, are you think it'll be more than what Dame averaged? I, I think, think it it'll be, be more, yes. yeah. I, think be I will. More. I think it'll be more. It'll it be will. More. Yeah. Couple nines, couple tens. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.